Perfect. So welcome again. So let's start on your back. Make sure you have your strap. We're going to do hamstrings and you can use cushions or blocks as well. I'd like if we can stretch the hip flexors. We're going to be on your knees. So use cushion if you want to protect your knees. Okay. And let's start right here on your back. And what I like to do as well, because my back is curved. So it's easier for my back if I put cushions or blocks underneath my knees. So you're welcome to do that. And we're going to rest right here on the earth. And I want you to try to reach for your heels. So you're going to inhale, exhale, let go your arms right here. So feel that your shoulders are lower. And then connect with your breath. So start your breath from the stomach. Relax your jaw. Your face muscles are also relaxed. And just relax your arms, fingers, your palms are up towards the sky. Just easier as well to open the shoulders. And then relax your legs and your feet. So listen to my voice. It's getting late and I want you to stay awake. And try to inhale slowly for four counts. Exhale for eight. And again, inhale slowly for four. Exhale slowly and completely for eight. And from here, just go at your own pace, slowly and deeply. And then inhale positive thoughts. And exhale, negative ones. And again, inhale, positive. And exhale, toxic. So I want you to feel already more relaxed. Same with your mind. Anytime your mind wanders, that's okay. Just bring it back and try to stay here on the mat in the present moment. And then slowly bring one knee at a time towards your chest. You can also rock side to side. Just listen to your back. Can you go even slower? So try to inhale to go one way. 
exhale the other. Keep in mind, this is our bedtime yoga. So it's time to slow down. We are always in a rush all day long. I want you to relax and enjoy this practice. And then hug your knees deeper. If you want to open your knees wide to bring them towards the shoulders, please go ahead, listen to your body. And slowly rotate your ankles. Go slow again, there's no rush. Inhale, half the circle. Exhale the other. Feel the pressure of your breath right on your thighs. And reverse. Relaxing the jaw, your shoulders, and two more circles. So two more deep breaths through your nose. And when you're done, you exhale, you can slowly rest your feet right here on the earth. Bring your arms again by your side, palms up. We're going to do your neck. So I want you to barely move your head and I'm gonna go a tiny bit to the right. Inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale a tiny bit to the left. So if I look at you, I should barely see you moving from one side to the other. So very small movement. And what I'm doing here, I'm just retraining your nervous system. And then you can do bigger movement, just a tiny bit bigger. And then a little bit bigger. And bigger. Next time you're gonna to be to your left, I want you to keep your head turned to the left and just relax here for a few breaths. You might feel the stretch on the right side of your neck. Again, just breathe. And let's inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, slowly turn your head to the right. So just listen to the limit of your neck. And then again, inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale to release. I like we can do a little chin tuck. So I'm going to stay right here again. You're looking straight up at the sky. And I want you to nod your chin to look closer to your breast towards your stomach. Inhale, come back. Again, look up at the sky. Exhale, chin in. So double chin.
So move with your breath. So when you nod your chin or you're looking down towards your stomach, you should feel the lengthening at the back of your neck. Two more times. And then you're going to release. Open your arms a little bit wider with your feet on the outside of the mat. And let's do the windshield wiper. So we're going to inhale. Exhale, slowly go to your right. When you're ready to come back, inhale. Exhale slowly to your left. That's it. And just keep going slowly and deeply. Let's do one more right and left. And when you're back to the right, let's stay here for a few breaths. So the right knee won't do anything. You can even bring it closer if you want. We're going to stretch the top of your left hip. You might feel the stretch as well in your back if you're tight. And you're welcome to open your arms in T-shape and turn your head to the left. So try to relax as much as you can. You're going to have a way better stretch. And again, please go back to your breath. Breathe from the stomach all the way to your chest and collarbones. So gravity is pushing gently on your knee to bring it down closer to the earth. Anytime it's too tight, you can put a cushion underneath your left knee just to support. And then slowly bring your head to neutral and inhale, bring your knees slowly back to neutral. Open your legs again on the outside of the mat. Inhale, exhale, slowly go to your left. And then when you're ready, slowly turn your head to the right. And just notice the difference between both legs. And then bring your head to neutral, followed by your knees. Bring your knees again to your chest. With your hands on your knees. And knees are going to be together. And let's do a big circle with your knees. And I want you to inhale knees away from you. Exhale knees closer to your chest. Try to go as slow as possible.
On your next inhale, slowly reverse. So feel the nice massage in your lower back, SI joints, and one more time. And then you're going to bring your legs up towards the sky, same with your arms. Keep the back of your shoulders in contact with your mat. So for some people, it can be too hard because hamstrings are too tight. Don't be afraid to bend your knees. And then I want you to be a happy baby in the crib. So move your arms and move your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Come on. That's it. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Again. <sighs> One more time. Good. And release. And again, bring your arms and legs up towards the sky. And I want you to feel the blood flow going. Maybe a tingling as well. Bend your knees. And this time, we're going to do two circles. So knees are going to be separated. Hands on your knees. Big circles. Inhale, knees away from you. Exhale, knees closer to your chest. On your next inhale, slowly reverse your circles. And one more. Beautiful. When you're ready, grab your strap. And we're going to start with the left leg just to make it different. So you're going to put your strap or maybe your tie, whatever you have home, right below your toes. You can keep your right knee bent. That's where you can push or pull, I should say, pull a little bit more your left leg towards your chest. So make sure you can relax your arms and shoulders. So feel the stretch right here in your hamstrings. And then you're going to relax your jaw. And you're going to go back to your breath. And with every exhale, just try to bring the leg a tiny bit closer to your chest. And then you can pull your toes towards your nose. And I want you to feel the stretch in your calf as well. So flex the foot. And then you're going to draw your big toe above your right shoulder. So go across from your body just a tiny bit. And feel the stretch moving right in your left hip. Yeah, just like that. Are you still relaxing your arms? And then bring your leg back to neutral. 
lengthen the right leg down on the floor grab the strap using your right hand and let's bring the left hip with you off the mat so i want you to feel the stretch in your spine but also all the way from your hip maybe down towards your knee and then you're going to open your left arm to the side and look left So if it's too much, too tight, you can lower the leg a little bit towards the right. If you want to fit it more, bring the leg higher towards the right shoulder. Just listen to your hip. And slowly bring your head to neutral, follow by your leg. Bend the knee slightly, bring the other leg. We're going to meet the legs up at the, towards the sky. Switch your legs. And let go your left leg down on the floor. So again, you decide to keep your knee bent. Or if you're flexible enough to keep your leg straight, go ahead. And then you're going to pull gently your right leg towards your chest. So check again if your jaw is relaxed, same with your shoulders and your arms. And with every exhale, just try to bring the leg a tiny bit closer. And then flex your foot to bring your toes towards your nose. And then bring the big toe right above the left shoulder. So a tiny bit across from the body. And feel the stretch again moving right in your right thigh. I should say right hip. Bring your leg back to neutral. Hold the strap using your left hand. Lengthen the left leg. And slowly bring the leg towards the left side of the body. Across from you. And then open your right arm and look to the right. So Graham, just try to let go here. Too tight, lower the leg towards the left leg. Or you want it more, feel it more, bring your foot towards the left shoulder.
slowly bring your head to neutral follow by your leg and let's bend your knee here to release the strap you're welcome to bring your knees again right here to your chest and you can also rock side to side listen to your body And let's turn to your right side. And I want you to stay there for a few breaths in fetus position. You can create a pillow with your arm. Bring your knees closer to your chest. And slowly come on your stomach. So I'd like we can do the Sphinx. So your elbows are going to be right below your shoulders. Open your fingers and starfish for strong foundations. And I want you to push your shoulders away from your ears. So I don't want you to have that dip between your shoulder blades. I want you to push your shoulders away from each other. So engage your shoulders and just listen to your lower back if it's too hard just slide your forearms towards the front of the mat so relax the glutes relax the legs and feel your head in line with your spine And slowly come back down, hands underneath your shoulders, and push yourself in child's pose. So I prefer wide knees, that way I can just bring the stomach between. And you decide to bring your arms in front of the mat or sliding them behind you. So rest your forehead right here on the mat. And then you're going to bend your elbows, join your hands together, and you're going to interlace your fingers, except the index and thumb, just like you're shooting a, shooting a gun, and rest again your forehead down, and try to bring your hands behind your head. And slowly release. Bring your right arm behind your back, right here. And I want you to go back again and turn your body to try to bring your left ear closer to the earth. You can turn your head. So we're trying to open shoulder and chest a little bit here. And we're gonna slowly release and let's do the same thing. Left arm behind your back. Try to bring your right ear in contact with the mat. And look left. And slowly release, 
and let's go in child's pose with your arms behind you palm facing the sky and rest your forehead right here on the earth Slowly inhale to lift the chest. Travel your hands on the right side of the mat. Put your left hand on top. And again, look between your arms. Some of you can bring the forehead down on the mat again. So feel that beautiful stretch in your lats on the left side of your body. Inhale, slowly come back. Exhale to switch side and just bring your right hand on top. And slowly inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, tabletop. So we're gonna come right here on your hands and your knees. You can put a cushion on your knees or you can even fold your mat right here. So spread your fingers in starfish and open your knees, hip bones apart and look between your knees to hide your ankles. And we're gonna slowly inhale, look up towards the sky, relax your shoulders, belly button down towards the mat, and exhale to round your back, chin to chest. And again, slowly inhale. And slowly exhale, so just go at your own pace. And let's go for two more. And last one. And when you're done, just come back to neutral. We're gonna bring the left leg in front. So again, you can use a cushion for your right knee. I want you to be comfy. And we're gonna bring the 90 degree at your front leg and just press your knee down. So we're gonna open the right hip. So relax your shoulders and feel tall from your hip all the way to your shoulders and then your head. You can spread your toes. So I use my fingers to spread them. As we age, we get crooked toes. <laughs> so let's try to correct them. 
And when we have crooked toes, that's because we don't use them. Let's keep the right hand maybe on the block, right here on the mat. We're going to open the left arm up towards the sky. Keep the shoulder in the pocket and try to open more your arm towards the back of the room. If it's too hard for your shoulder, bring your arm behind your back and you still can rotate towards the back of the room. So still pressing the hips down. Breathe. We are opening the chest here. And slowly release. Let's bring your left hand on the outside of your left foot. We're going to open the other way. And this is way harder. So some of you might need a block. And open right here. So this one is not easy. So just do what you can. Beautiful. Good. And slowly release. And let's bring the leg behind. And let's switch your legs. So bring the right leg in front. 90 degrees your front knee before you press the hips down. So use your block. Sometimes I use them at the highest level, but it's not everybody who has blocks, so that's why I just don't get them out. I just use my fingertips, use cushions, rest your hands on them. So again, relax your shoulders. And then let's open your right arm up towards the sky. So I'm keeping my left in contact with the earth and rotate towards the right leg. So look right. And I'm using my left hand here. I'm pressing on the earth to be able to open more my arm towards the back of the room. And slowly release, let's switch your arms. So keep your hand on the outside of your foot, use your fingertips and open your arm. Feel the restriction here. So keep the shoulder again right in the pocket. Nice. And release, let's go back in child's pose. And let's slowly inhale to lift the chest. And we're going to sit on the mat. So I'm going to be back to you guys because I just find this is easier to understand. So we've done this one before. I'm going to start with my right leg. So just do the same leg than me. So right leg is out. You're going to bend the left leg. Turn your torso towards the left. And you're going to fall above your right leg. And you're gonna bring your left arm up towards the sky. So I want you to use your right elbow inside of your thigh 
to help you to rotate more towards the back of the room. Again, lessen to your shoulder. Anytime it's getting too much, bring your arm behind your back. Can you try to rotate a tiny bit more towards the back? And you're looking straight ahead, don't force your neck. And then let's bring your arm by your ear. Try to grab for your toes. I know, but we're keeping the heart up towards the sky. That's why again, I'm using my elbow here instead of my thigh. Good, inhale up, exhale to release and let's switch it up, same thing. So I'm gonna be your mirror, okay? So now the left leg is out, turn your torso towards the right, fall above your left leg and bring your right arm up towards the sky. Keep the shoulder in the pocket. Use your elbow inside of your thigh to help you to rotate more towards the back of the room. Feel that nice stretch in your back. That's your QL. Muscle is right below your ribs, below your kidneys. And it helps you to bring the leg at the back. And then let's bring your arm by your ear, palm facing down. We'll feel that nice stretch. Anytime it's too much, you can release. Good, inhale up, exhale to release. This one is hard. <laughs> okay, let's do a big diamond. So we're gonna stretch your inner thighs. So if you're tight here, just do a bigger one. You can also sit on a cushion, it's gonna help. If you're okay, you can bring your knees, yep, your heels tighter. So shoulders are down and back, and try to relax here. So gravity is gonna bring your knees down towards the earth. So just breathe slowly and deeply. That's the only thing you need to do here. Okay, now open slowly your legs. We're gonna stretch the longer muscles towards your knees. Okay, so nice and tall, and just walk right here in the middle, yeah. So I want you to keep your body nice and tall. We're gonna fall later. Let's see here, and I'm pretty sure you're feeling it. You can also flex your feet, point your toes up towards the sky. So relax your arms and shoulders. So feel the stretch in your inner thighs.
And then you're going to round your back and just let go. And then slowly come back. Push yourself up. That's it. And let's do this one, some modified pigeon. So I'm going to cross my right leg over my left. And I'm going to bend the left leg. So some of you can be just here and that's okay. So just like that. Yeah. Okay. It looks like that sideways. And then you're going to try to bring your heel closer to your glutes. Depends on your flexibility here. And then your hands closer to your glutes. And bring your shoulders away from your ears just by bringing the chest closer to your leg. And then we're just going to stay here. And we're going to go back to our breath. So feel the stretch in the hip. Mm -hmm. If it's too hard for your wrist, go on your back. This, that's the same one. And let's slowly release and we'll switch the legs. So just do what you can. Try to bring your heel closer to your glutes and then your hands as well closer and push your chest towards your leg. So I don't want to see that. That's the release. We are like that all day long. So push instead. So you're going to feel the squeeze between your shoulder blades and you're going to feel the opening in the chest. Nice. Again, just go back to your breath. And let's slowly release, lengthen the leg to let go. We're going to lengthen both legs. We're going to go in forward fold. So nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Bring your stomach closer to your legs. You can bring your hands each side. You can use your strap as well. But I can touch my toes. But if you're not flexible, go with your strap or your tie just below your toes. And it's going to help you to pull. So again, our life we can stay nice and tall for now. And again, with every breath, just try to come a little bit lower. If you're breathing from the stomach, you're going to feel yourself doing a little bit of that movement. So feel the pressure of your stomach again right on your thighs. And then when you're ready, just fall, let go, look down at your knees.
And then I'm going to slowly come up. You can help yourself with your hands each side of your legs. And I'd like we do one more stretch. Some of you might need a cushion. And I'm going to open my chest by doing the rotation. So let's go right on the stomach. I'm going to travel my body to the left side of my mat. Open your right arm right here to the side. So my hand is a little bit lower than my shoulder. Using your left hand, push yourself. We're going to go right here to the right. So I'm opening the right side. Use your cushion, another one for your head. And you're welcome to bring your left arm behind your back. Some of you can maybe bend the knee right here, pointing the knee up towards the sky. You choose where you want to be. And let's slowly release. Let's travel our body towards the right side of the mat. Open your left arm to the side. So hand a little bit lower than your shoulder. Push yourself with your right hand and go to the left. And then again, you can rest your head on the other cushion and Bring your hand behind your back. So our goal is to join the hands together. So we're so tight in the chest. And then you're going to slowly release. And we can go on our backs. And let's get ready for Shavasana. Again, you're welcome to use your cushion below your knees, underneath your knees. If there's one more stretch you would like to do, before we come here in Shavasana, please go ahead, listen to your body. Or if you're ready, just lay right here on your back. And I want you to feel the difference in your body. I want you to feel relaxed. If there's tension somewhere else in your body, breathe into it and let it go.
and then slowly come back to the room. Think all your toes and fingers. And let's slowly turn ourselves again to the right side. And then push yourself in a seated position. with your hands in front of your good heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.